So, that was Jazz Café, written by myself and the wonderful Frank Spears. We're both playing on it, as you could hear. I hope that offers a suitably summary start to this, our August notes. Upcoming in this video log will be a wonderful performance of a piece by me, performed by the glorious jazz pianist Jason Rabello, an edited interview with uh, that wonderful composer of musicals, Pippa Cleary, uh, some music from Chris Weston, performed by himself and myself, quite recently actually at uh, Ipswich, uh, something about LMT, LMT, I hear you say, what's that? Well, that's Learn Music Together. It's an online membership that works towards gathering up people who want to know more about music and uh, like to play music together, perhaps online, virtually, and to learn about theory and stuff. Standards like, you know, being a consummate pro or anything are not quite the game here. It's all about inclusivity and the most wonderful learning curve. Um, oh yeah, and what else do we have? We have um, uh, a piece I originally wrote for Viv called uh, Let Me See Your Eyes. Um, the return of John Mann, who's done so much for the lunchtime concert over the years, but here pontificating beautifully on the creation of his own new work. And we end with something from Release, that wonderful initiative from Guildhall Young Artists, where we include the creative work of young people, this particular one being music to picture. Let, let's crack on, shall we? Let's do it. Let's start with Jason. Jason Rebello, who offered a wonderful interview for the aforementioned Release. And um, it was wonderful to meet him for the first time to do that. In fact, we'd met uh, before, but never had a chance to have a chat, so guess what? Uh, the piece is called And So We Speak.
Pippa Clary um, has written several musicals over the years. I have known her since she was eight years old, actually, because uh, I taught her for about ten years at Junior Guildhall. The most wonderful human and the most wonderful composer. Recently, uh, Viv and Joseph and I uh, went uh, with with our dear friends um, Karen and Viv down to wonderful Cheltenham to hear Bake Off the musical. My goodness me. When it transfers, notice I didn't say if, but when it transfers to London, you simply must get a ticket. Yeah, you must. Anyway, shall we hear it? That edited inter interview with musical highlights from Pippa Cleary. So, Pippa. Hi. This is my favourite time to be with a good friend uh, talking about the art form known as music, mm -hmm. and indeed your music. Yes. Well, hey, hey, why don't we start with that music, and then uh, we, we can talk about it. Okay. Do you mind? Something I'll just you're play on. something I'm currently doing. You bet. Okay. Try and work out what on earth it's all about. I'll try and remember it. I want to go to college and soak up all the knowledge, bury myself in ancient rooms. Okay, I give up. I don't know what it's for. That is a song, a demo pitch song for an animated movie that I may or may not get. And that is the career, isn't it? That is the ultimate dream, is to write songs for Disney one day. I'm visually impaired, so I struggle to read music. Mm. So that's probably pushed me into working things out by ear, mm. which I started to do quite early on. Mm. Um, I wrote my first song when I was six which I could play if you would like. Oh, I yes. do remember it. Oh, yes. This is the first song I ever wrote. It's Go. great. It's really high brow. I was six. We are going to the seaside, shouts my brother in the hall. Let's pack my bucket, oh, and my bouncing ball. Soon at last we all get in the car. Charlie with an apple and me with a chocolate bar. We begin. It's nearly there. working on The Great British Bake Off the musical, which is great because there's lots of cake. Um, that's the so music and lyrics and that's opening this summer in Cheltenham. Come see it. And, um, <laughs> it's great. Be there. Um, so that's really fun. Um, pitching for an animated movie. Mm. Lots of pitching. Uh, potentially got another musical which may or may not happen. I've written a musical that's on in the Czech Republic, which is great. So yeah, that's but a wasn't bit that random. A bit of a surprise to you. That was a bit of a surprise to me. It was. Um... This has never happened to me, so uh, <laughs> I'm a bit jealous. But tell me. So about four years ago, I, I met Philip Lezebnik, who's the book writer of Pocahontas and Mulan. So he's a big fish, and we got paired up together to write a, a fairy tale musical called Snow White and Me. Snow White and Me. And uh, yeah, and we did a workshop, and then it didn't go anywhere which was a shame, and then about a couple of months ago I got told by the producer that the Czech Republic had picked it up and I went out to the Czech Republic to see it produced with a 40-piece orchestra. Come on. Bizarre, which was amazing, so you never know. Yeah. At first, weren't you a little bit peeved because... Because they did it without permission, uh, yes, but I got over that. Did you? Yes, I've decided to be the better person and... And to be fair, they did a great job, so yeah. I wasn't peeved for very long. Yeah, 40-piece orchestra. Yeah, 40-piece orchestra, right, I'll take that. Did it have a long run? It's still on. It's in rep. It's on about five performances a month for the next year. So you could, everyone can go and see it. Snow White and Me. Snow Lukta Ia in the Czech. Well done. Yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> Having never had a 40-piece orchestra play my music ever before, that was mm. a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I know Bake Off is, is a contemporary thing, 
view. But are you allowed to give us a bit of a sneak? Yes, I am allowed to give you a bit of a sneak. I can give you a sneak of two songs. Do it. I know. Uh, this is the uh, slightly... Well, she's not the villain, but she's she's got a plan to sabotage everyone else. So she's she's planning on how she's going to take everyone down. She goes... Um, <clears throat> Everyone is so polite, all nice to meet you, love that dress. But there's something underneath the smiling, no one will address. There's a prize to be won, dialogue from other people. And I'm not here for fun. The tent so innocent, so little British country fate. Don't let the gingham fool you, it's a battle on a plate. I'm not here to make friends, more dialogue. my mind because obviously I will be going all the way obviously like duh <laughs> they'll drop off like flies till I snag the prize so let the competition begin I'm here to win that's a little bit of that one thank you right. uh, I was gonna ask how on earth do you ever begin writing a song sing beginning a song and I think that's a difficult question. So to make it easier, I've got some lyrics for you. Great. They're not very good lyrics. <laughs> but, you know, they're very good. It's, as you know, uh, we're saying a big thank you from Guildhall Young Artists, and particularly the release uh, co composition competition. Composition competition. <laughs> which you are very yes. kindly uh, going to be uh, one of the judges, which is fantastic. Um, so we're getting an insight really into your creativity now. Great. And on our questions and answers, right? We have a. Uh, it goes. Uh, what does the songwriting category include? So your lyric for today, Pippa. So I have to write this on the spot. Yeah, please. Great. Is this category includes any genre or style of songwriting? I'm going to say that again. Yeah. This category includes <coughs> any genre or style of songwriting. So I can go for any genre or style. Yeah, you've got this it. This category of song. Is that what is that it? Yeah, yeah, I don't care if you change Includes any genre or style of songwriting. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This category of song includes any style of songwriting or song. Oh, I forgot the words. This category of song includes anything I want to do. If I want to do it black and blue, I'm going to judge this something for you. Okay, you get Not my best work. <laughs> It's very immediate. It is immediate. So I, I want to know, this is like, is. where Bake Off is concerned, you said you had another, another song that you could put, potentially... I do, into. I do. This Please. is um, called Rise. Uh, I haven't actually practiced this in ages, but I'll let me see how you do it. Tell me you don't it. have a song called I Need You. <laughs> Why have I been hiding? What have I been trying to escape? Who am I denying? When did I decide to pause the tape? All the things in life I missed. It's not enough to just exist. I never had the strength to try until now. You might never know it from the outside. I was running from the girl I knew. When you lose yourself in isolation, it's so easy to pretend you don't know what to do. But now it's up to Let me 
better than that. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. I think we're coming to the end of our little chat. Okay. Which is a bit of a shame. I know. So you're very kindly going to play us out with our, uh, the grateful thanks of Guildhall Young Artists and uh, the release competition thing I can't say. <laughs> Uh, Pippa, you what am I playing you out enjoy. with? I, you know, I don't know yet. No, neither do I. Good. Oh, you you may have to invent something. I might. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, so if it has Guildhall Young Artists in it and release. Okay. Oh, let's call it release. Okay. Okay. You can sing back up, you know. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm release. Good. Release. Oh, no. Gosh, this is going to be. Watch out, guys. <laughs> Chris Weston and I go back a long way, not, not uh, so far that it doesn't feel like a youthful encounter. Uh, what I mean by that is that he carries the youth. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Um, I started teaching him many years ago, and our relationship, of course, has developed into a uh, musical liaison and uh, partnership that really has offered new work, new repertoire to the um, corpus. And this is, this particular uh, extract is no, uh, well, no change from that really, because it's the original work of Chris himself, he and I performing. It's probably best, you know, to leave it in the, the capable hands of Chris to do some introductions. Uh, over the last few years, I've become interested in writing educational music, uh, so exam pieces, if you will. And uh, the first that we're going to hear, Café de Paris, is, as you might have guessed, in a French style. It's a sort of French 1950s waltz with a bit of a nod back to people like Debussy and also Sarti, but also... Uh, a look towards America and jazz song as well.
Learn Music Together is an online membership that helps adults grow and develop their musical skills so that they can play better music and with confidence. The membership was formed by uh, Fiona, my friend, Fiona Berry, author of the book, if you want to uh, uh, research it, called Play Music Better. She's a fellow examiner at Trinity College London and an experienced teacher, of course. It's open to all adults, regardless of their standard, or what instrument they are learning. As a member, you'll learn how to practice more effectively so you can make music better, uh, more progress, and nurture your performance skills. And it's a very supportive community. I know because I've um, done a sort of online interview with them and was asked to write a piece of music for that myriad of instruments. Well, all I can say is... Uh, it was a challenge and a beautiful and delightful one. Uh, well, hey, why don't you be the judge? Because here's the online performance of it. Oh, details, by the way, of uh, Learn Music Together are online, of course, and will be available in the normal way via our outings on uh, our website and on Facebook or whatever. Gosh, social media, eh? The piece is called The Gift. originally wrote Let Me See Your Eyes for Viv, uh, the lyrics being rather soppy and uh, romantic. And, of course, uh, this particular performance um, with the wonderful Peter Marshall on piano is just... Well, I love it because I'm thinking of the words as I play. The melody... I think stands up for itself and uh, the visuals by the way here are by uh, Penny and I hope you move towards this particular piece in the same way as I do there's a kind of familial tribute going on here due to the fact that Joseph our son recently succeeded in getting his degree in British Sign Language and uh, is pursuing work as we speak. Let me see your eyes.
John Mann is a long-time friend of the lunchtime concerts, um, and here he offers us a bit of an insight into the composition of his own creative work, one that was performed in uh, Oxford fairly recently. Well, he's best to explain. The piece, by the way, was called Leave It to Puck. There's a huge musical force at play. We've got a 10-piece band. We've got essentially two choirs, um, three in the primary school production as well. So just the sheer number of people that are involved in it, um, which I think is knocking on the door of 500, is just quite a big thing to manage. It's a very spacious score. There's lots more space in it than, for example, in a, in a traditional you know, Guys and Dolls or Les Miserables type musical. There, there are many bits of music with no stage direction, so it's really left open to interpretation, which as a director is exciting uh, and, and challenging. And we, we've had to do a lot of invention and we decided that choreography was going to be really important, so it's, it's ended up being quite balletic, which is something we haven't really done before. Obviously, with the weeks of exams that have been going on for sort of all the year groups, it's been difficult to get everyone in the same rehearsal, but now sort of that's over. I think we're all really excited to just press on with the show, see how it turns out. It genuinely is about the most rewarding thing you can do. Uh, teaching of any sort is great, but teaching in a scenario where you've got pupils doing something completely voluntarily and lots of them, and they're working towards something which is a world premiere of something completely fresh and new, and it's entirely you know, a sort of collaborative process between us and the pupils. They're putting their absolute heart into trying to make it come to life and it, it, it you know, transfers to you as well. The passion's contagious. Let's conclude, as I suggested earlier, in this vlog that um, we, should, we should end with something that also chimes with that competition release, the composition competition, which engages with guilt all young artists. Jack Murray, wonderful composer, student of mine, who has written, I think, a wonderful uh, piece of music in the music to picture category of this competition. Wonderful way to go out, I think, or on this particular vlog, with our best wishes to everybody who's in attendance here today and listening online. Thanks for being here. I'm looking forward to the next one and to meeting you again, by the way, in the flesh in the theatre near you. Enjoy. Sebstenstein. It's uh, art.
project will um, <clears throat>